The figure shows how the DB Connect technology provides another alternative for extracting data from an external system. DB Connect enables you to extract data from tables or views in database management systems or DBMS, which, in addition to having the standard connection, are also connected to the SAP Business Warehouse or BW system and transfer the data to the SAP BW system. You can use tables and views from the SAP supported DBMS for data transfer. You can then use a data source to make the data available to SAP BW and transfer it to SAP BW info providers using the usual data acquisition process. To load the data from an SAP supporting DBMS into SAP BW using DB Connect, do the following. Connect a database to the SAP BW system as a source system, thus providing direct access to the external relational DBMS or RDBMS. Make the metadata for the table or view of the external RDBMS known to the SAP BW using the definition of a data source. The figure shows an example of the application of DB Connect. The purchasing application runs on a system that is based on a DBMSX. To analyze the data from the purchasing application, the data has to be loaded into an SAP BW system based on a DBMSY. If the DBMSY is the same as DBMSX, you do not need to install the database specific client and the database specific database shared library or DBSL. The functionality of the DB Connect enables you to connect the DBMS for the purchasing application and then extract data from the DB tables or views and transfer it into SAP BW. When starting an SAP BW application server, the SAP kernel opens a connection to the database on which the SAP BW system is running. This connection is designated as the default or standard connection because all OpenSQL and native SQL statements automatically refer to this connection. If you want to set up another connection to the DBMS of the same type or a different type, in addition to the default connection, you can use DB Connect functionality, namely the SAP Technology Component MultiConnect. The figure represents the architecture of DB Connect, which will be described in more detail. In principle, only SAP BW application servers for which SAP has released a DBSL for the SAP BW, DBMS, and the source DBMS are supported on the operating system versions for DB Connect. Before you can use the DB Connect functions, you must prepare as follows. Install the DB Client. Install an SAP specific database shared library. First, you need to install a DB Client, which is another database specific client for the respective source DBMS on the SAP BW application server. As long as this DBMS is different from the DBMS used by SAP BW. A license for this DB client can usually be obtained from the manufacturer of the database. You can get more information about the DB client from the respective database manufacturer. Furthermore, for a database to be connected, an SAP specific DBSL must be installed on the SAP BW application server. You can obtain this DBSL from SAP. The data dependent part of the DB interface is located in its own library and is dynamically connected to the SAP kernel. In addition to the DBSL mentioned, the library also contains further libraries from the respective database manufacturer that can either be connected to the DB library statically or dynamically. For more information, see installation of the database shared library 
or DBSL in the general documentation and an SAP note 400818. Before the correct data from the applications from external RDBMS can be loaded into SAP BW, the metadata, which is the table or view field information in SAP BW, has to exist in the form of a data source. With DB Connect, you can use the connection to the external system supported by SAP as a source system connection for the SAP BW system. You can use DB tables and views from the RDBMS database catalog to generate data sources. DB Connect also includes the mapping from database data types on Advanced Business Application Programming or RBARP data types. These data sources make the metadata known to SAP BW. Then, the usual data acquisition process of SAP BW comes into play. Before a database connection can be opened, all connection data that is required for identification of the source database and for authentication against the database must be made known to the runtime environment. You must specify the connection data for every database connection that is also to be built in addition to the SAP default connection. In the first step, you must You must create the database source system in the data warehousing workbench as shown in the figure. The connection data as seen in the figure that is used to identify the source database and authenticate this database is determined here. The example in the previous figure illustrates the format of the information for a database. The fields in the previous figure are explained in the following list. To transfer data from a database source system, you have to make metadata, that is, the table or view and field information known to SAP BW using data sources. To define a DB Connect data source, in the context menu of the DB Connect source system created previously, choose the Create Data Source function. On the Extraction tab, select the table adapter as shown in the figure. From the database source system, Select a table or view for data extraction by choosing table or view. On the next screen, select whether you want tables and slash or views to be available for selection, enter the required data under table or view and choose execute. The database connection is established and the database tables are read. The choose DB object name screen appears. On this screen, the system displays, in accordance with your selections, the tables and views that are stored in the database schema of the database user for which the connection has been established. The technical name, type, and database schema for a table or view are displayed. Ensure that you only use tables and views in the extraction whose technical names consist solely of uppercase letters, numbers, and underscores. Using other characters can lead to problems. Go to the Proposal tab page. The fields of the table or view are displayed here. The overview of the database fields tells you which fields are key fields, the length of the field in the database compared with the length of the field in the Advanced Business Application Programming or ABAP Data Dictionary. It also tells you the field type in the database and the field type in the ABAP Dictionary. As shown in the figure, it also gives you additional information to help you check the consistency of your data. On the Field List tab, 
edit the fields that you transferred to the field list of the data source from the proposal tab page as shown in the figure. It is important to remember the following. Under transfer, specify the decision relevant data source fields that should be available for extraction and transferred to SAP BW. Note that the technical field names of tables and views can be no longer than 16 characters and must only contain uppercase letters, numbers, and underscores. Using other characters can lead to problems. You cannot use fields with reserved field names such as COUNT. Fields that do not comply with these restrictions are not available for extraction. If required, change the values for the key fields of the source. These fields are generated as a secondary index in the Persistent Staging Area or PSA. This is important in ensuring good performance for DTP selections, in particular with semantic grouping. Specify whether the source provides the data in the internal or external format. If you choose an external format, ensure that the output length of the field, that is, external length, is correct. Change the entries as required. If required, specify a conversion routine that converts data from an external format into an internal format. Select the fields for which you want to be able to set selection criteria when you schedule a data request using an info package. Data for this type of field is transferred in accordance with the selection criteria specified in the info package. Choose the selection options such as EQ, BT that you want to be available for selection in the info package. Under field type, specify whether the data to be selected is language dependent or time dependent as required. If you did not transfer the field list from a proposal, define the fields of the data source directly. Choose Insert Row and enter a field name. You can specify Info Objects to define the data source fields. Under Template Info Object, specify Info Objects for the fields of the data source. This allows you to transfer the technical properties of the Info Objects into the data source field. Entering Info Objects here does not equate to assigning them to data source fields. Assignments are made in the transformation. When you define the transformation, the system proposes the info objects you entered here as info objects that you might want to assign to a field.